One of the biggest names in entertainment is using her star power to help children across the world and of course right here at home. At 5 o'clock we shared with you Dolly Parton's love for Southwest Virginia, even starting her television career on the WSLS airwaves more than four decades ago. Rachel Lucas was the only local reporter to sit down with Dolly. She joins us now with the music legend's impact on children in need. Rachel. John and Lindsay, Dolly Parton's passion for helping young people is so contagious. Hearing her talk about the Imagine Late Asian Library is inspiring. The program mails free books to children and just gave away their 100 millionth book. A group of local students who benefit wanted to give something back. Now I got to deliver their gift when we met her for a sit down interview at Dollywood. And I believe a storybook about a little girl who went from rags to riches. My coat of many colors that my mama made for me, made only from rags, but I wore it so proudly. Taken from her song, Coat of Many Colors, that so many of us have memorized, it's a story we can all relate to. Although we had no money, I was rich as I could be. The book Coat of Many Colors is now read by millions of children across the world, including this Martinsville classroom. 1,800 children in that area receive books each month from Dolly, a project that's touched millions, inspired by one man. And I just started it for the local people in honor of my dad who couldn't read and write and, you know, dad was instrumental in kind of seeing it come to be and me, I tried to involve him as much as I could for, to be proud of it. He was once quoted saying it was his daughter's accomplishment that he was most proud of, the gift of literacy he didn't have, Dolly has given to children around the world. And so dad got to live long enough to see it start do doing really good. Realizing that books often are an expense many families couldn't afford, the president of the Dollywood Foundation, David Dodson, told us Dolly had a strong vision about the way they would help children, a hand up, not a handout the way her father would have wanted it. She didn't know growing up that she was poor until somebody told her that she was. And so she really wanted this to feel like a gift to children. In honor of giving the gift of reading to so many, the book Coat of Many Colors was added to the Library of Congress to commemorate her 100th millionth book. Though not as momentous, but perhaps more heartfelt, these little readers had a gift for her, too. Well, after 100 million books, we have a special book for you. Oh. We have a lot of kids in our area whose lives you've really changed and really touched. And a group of kids from Henry County and Martinsville uh, wanted to give you a book back. Oh. Even signed it for you. Well, how sweet is that? Will you fill my bucket? A book they all know because Dolly gave it to them. <laughs> they got their little names, little messages. I think you knew to Dolly, not the superstar, but the woman who gave them the gift of reading. There's a special one I'd like to read to you on the second page. Sarah said, I know her, she sends me books. She was in awe to send a book back to Dolly Parton. Oh, that's very sweet. Thank you, kiddos, I love it, I love it. Well, I will treasure this. Uh, that'll be my book, I'll start my own personal little imagination library. Philip Winkstern told us without the program, many area students would have never been read a book before kindergarten. You know, we were watching that video, you know, we honestly teared up a little bit because you could tell that, you know, Dolly was very genuine and how appreciative she was to receive that book. And of course, in true Dolly Parton fashion, she returned that Southern hospitality, sending us an autographed copy of Coat of Many Colors to give back to the children, a story they'll never forget. Now we have to admit, we were very <laughs> jealous of Rachel for getting to meet Dolly. What was Dolly like in person? She is the most amazing person. You know, once I got mm -hmm. over being starstruck. Right, you yeah, know, yeah, yeah. About, you got over that? <laughs> no, yeah. I, I was hiding it very well. Right. I had her set up in a room already, and then they were like, okay, you can come in now. Mm -hmm. And it was like seeing Santa Claus. She was absolutely wonderful. Oh, it was yeah. like, you know, one of us. Right. So, wow. She was so wonderful. sweet. So sweet. Yeah. So she's truly deserving of every ounce of fame she has. And we have more on that interview as well as ways that you can help sponsor a child for Imagination Library on our website, WSLS.com. Okay, we'll certainly check it out. Thank you, Rachel.